This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You're watching the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope you all had a good day. Uh, if you missed the segment or my episode, uh, you can go to our YouTube channel, Tiger Financial News Network, right after the end of programming today. We're going to have an interview I had with Tim Ord up. Make sure to give that a uh, check out. If you like it, like the video, consider subscribing to us. It helps us out immensely. Let's take a look at where we ended today. The composite is currently trading up 1.5%, 19,269. In the Dow Jones Industrial, kind of flat right now, still at 43,729. That dollar off 0.65%, 104.35. And you have crude oil trading up 0.45% at $72. You have the E mini uh, up about 0.73 at six, right at 6,000, 6,002 to be exact. And then gold rallied a little bit at the end of the day. Check that out. I mean, we're still off from the high of 2801, but we're trading at 2711, trading up 1.33%. Uh, percent. You have copper up about 4.51%, trading at $4.43. Uh, $4 uh, Russell off about 0.31 at 2398 And then silver up 2.36 at 3207. I want to see if Steel Dynamics corrected from yesterday. Yeah, because that was a huge move to the upside. Oh, look at that. It's still flying high too, though. Trading at 148, closing down 3.93%. And then Tesla still roaring up 2.8%. Yeah, uh, that was a big play to have. Let's take a look at Celsius. They actually did have earnings come out, and uh, it was a little bit unfortunate. Uh, the revenue contracted 31%, uh, 265 uh, million versus 384 which is tough. North America contracted 33%. Now, they're international, which is kind of, this is from this Pepsi debacle in part, right? And Celsius still dominates everything on the rack. I mean, it is just absolutely everywhere. Uh, internationally, they did grow 37%, which is uh, pretty solid. So year over year change of 18.6 million compared to 13.6 million, uh, which is pretty solid. Gross margin contracted year over year, 440 basis points. So did net income by 92%. Oh, tough. We can look a little bit more about that, you know, tomorrow. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. We're back tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien in the morning. Market kickoff all by Basil Chapman. I actually believe Steve Rhodes is at 8 as well, so look out for that. Then Larry Pesavento at 1, and then yours truly at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We'll see you then.